Hey everybody, what's up? It's that time of the year again, AC. So my machine is telling me I need to replace the air dryer. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to do that on this dual AC machine. Mm, here we are, if I go try to do something. Service, replace dryer filter and vacuum pump oil. I already did the oil yesterday. So I'm gonna show you how to replace the dryer. And the dryer. Who's that bad boy right there? And that thing is a hundred and something dollars. Settings. Oh, change dryer filter. Yeah. Make sure the couplings are disconnected. Yeah, they are. So it's going to do its little check. And then it's gonna ask me to take that off, put the new one on, and it has a code in it. Reset service alarm, enter filter code. <clears throat> That's my code. PU7W. Oops. P. U. 7. W. Oops. W. 4 W. W. X. Five two two. two 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 oops that's like old school texting p u seven w four w p u seven w four w x five two two x five two two remove the dryer filter use a special wrench which I don't have so, I'm going to have to get a pair of pliers and grab that thing. So this be a special wrench you put on right there? I don't have the wrench. Channel locks work just fine. Remove it. Enter. Verify that both O-rings are seated correctly onto their seats. Yes. Insert new dryer filter. Both O-rings are on. O-ring, O-ring. O-ring, O-ring. Kind of hard to do this one. Make sure it was tight. Checking for leaks.
That's not what I want. I changed the vacuum pump oil yesterday, so. That's how much that filter dryer cost. So, just for that. That's the vacuum pump. You gotta take that screw out there. There's a screw there, one up there, one on that side, one down there, and then take the cap off. There's a little Allen, and you drain it. We did that yesterday. Checking for leaks. Internal gas removal, so it did its vacuum check. Now it's removing the gas from inside the system after replacing that there dryer filter. There's the old one. And it should tell me it's good to go. Machine maintenance, this thing cost a pretty penny. Gotta keep it maintained, because it won't even let you proceed any further until you maintain it. You saw it. When I went to go evac and recharge, it says change filter dryer. It won't let you go past that. Change filter operation complete. I already did all that. I did that yesterday. And then we're good. Now I'm in my 134A. Total 7.2. I got a 4.19 charge capacity. And one of the reasons I'm showing you this is because I got to evac the system out of this transit, which is a 2017, equipped with a 3.7 liter. We're having a little bit of an AC concern. I um, think we have a failed compressor. It's not coming on. I'm going to pull down the system to see how much Freon is in it. So this is my high port. My low port is way down here and the reason I'm telling you this is because a lot of people ask why is AC work so expensive so we're gonna go over that as well Turn it on. get my hand down there turn it on You can see my pressure's here. And we're going to let that recover, but we're going to go over some prices of why AC is so expensive because people ask me that all the time. 30 pound can to Freon. This is to fill the machine. And Freon is just a brand name, it's actually a refrigerant. So I'm going to go over the price of that, the price of the compressor for that transit, actually the price of some 1234YF, and the price of that dryer. The dryer, 123 bucks. Price for the AC compressor, $415. No core on it, it's brand new. $444, that's what that cost. So $444, how much was that dryer? $123. $123, but we can't add that in because the customer doesn't pay for that. That'll be under shop supply. But this is, so we'll just say $444 for the compressor, if the customer needs a compressor, and then however much Freon we put into it. 134A, 30 pound can, list price is 7-Eleven, $319.99, so we'll do, what, 320? 20 divided by 10, it's $32 a pound. Oh, no, mm. it's not 10, excuse me. It's $32 divided by 30. A dollar six a pound. So, mm. so that's one that's 134A. So that's what they're getting it for. So they're gonna charge you two or three bucks a pound. So if you got two pounds, three bucks, six dollars, whatever, plus labor, 
If you look at, let's look at uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four only comes in 10 pounds and it's $499.99. That stuff's expensive. And here's the funny thing. If you just go to the auto parts store and look on their website and just look for a 10 pound can or a 30 pound can, it won't show it to you. You have to be certified to buy it, but you can go buy the little 12 ounce cans or whatever. So if we do that, 500 divided by 10, yeah, 50 bucks a pound. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So if you have one, two, three, four YF in your car, it's 50 bucks a pound. That's what they're getting it at. They're probably charging you 55, 60 bucks a pound at two pounds. That's $120 just for Freon, plus the labor, plus the compressor, which they're going to mark up a little bit. So that's, you're right at six, $800 just for that. So that's why AC systems cost so much. Um, plus we have to, they have to maintain the machines and all that stuff. Let's, let's uh, look in on this one over here. So this one is a... 3.7 liter, okay, and it takes 2.44 pounds, 1.11 kilograms. Let's go see how much it's pulled out. So far, it has pulled out 1.38 pounds. So I'm gonna pull all this out of here, and then I can shoot some uh, detector in there, and then look for a leak. And it's got a new compressor on it, so I don't think the compressor has failed. So you can see, I got the machine hooked up to it. It's pulling Freon out. It's going to, I have to diagnose the car. So there's your Diag, you have the parts. So just say a compressor and Freon. Now if it takes 2.44 pounds and it only took out 1.44, then you're only gonna be charged for the one pound because it holds it in that tank. They're not gonna charge you for the whole two pounds or whatever. So that's why AC system stuff is very, very expensive, especially with the one, two, three, four YF. Um, and then they got to maintain the machine and all that stuff. So I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.